What's up guys? Welcome to another Graphic Sauce Media video. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of our 2020 studio. Um, really looking forward to this video. Uh, it's actually uh, been a long time coming. We've been in this office space for probably about eight months now. Um, it's kind of gone over a couple, like, it's gone through a couple changes, but I think we've got like the different quadrants kind of set up and the way that we're looking to uh, kind of run the actual office. Um, we've kind of we've got it separated into a couple different quadrants, and uh, we're gonna walk through those today. Uh, make sure if you like or enjoy this video, uh, consider subscribing. We've got a lot more uh, upgrades and things like that to make, so this is kind of like the first of many uh, to come. Uh, and like I said, we've been in here for about eight months, and um, you know we've got some ideas on what we want to do to upgrade the different quadrants and stuff like that and the different uh, usability for each of those spaces and really kind of what we're going for is multi-purpose spaces so not just you know not just one space to do one thing but this one space does multiple things or has, serves multiple purposes or has multiple ways it can be used so keep that in mind as we're going through uh, the actual uh, tour and um, yeah, let's have some fun and uh, let's go ahead and start over with the podcasting table over here. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is our main shooting area. This is where we shoot all of our uh, podcasts, YouTube videos, um, and then also we use this space for our vlog. The other thing that I like to use this space for is for board gaming. We're a huge board gaming family. Um, we like to play uh, games with friends and family, um, and I would like to kind of turn this space into one of those places where we can have like four people at the table, maybe five, and be able to play a board game together. So this is our main place that we like to shoot, and uh, it's got a lot going on. So we've got a couple different lights, some microphones, uh, the, the table itself, and then a tripod. So let's go through those real quick. So first off, let's start with the table itself. Um, I built this um, with plans that I got off of a uh, YouTube video, I'll link that below, but um, it was a great experience, um, although it turned out really well the first couple weeks, um, you could tell that I didn't use the correct tools or had the correct tools to finish the project because the actual finish and the, the stain that I used, um, it really didn't take very well to the wood um, and the actual pieces of wood started to split a little bit at the seams. Whereas when I first brought it out here, they were you know flush, sanded really nice, finished uh, and stained, and then um, we did like a ure polyurethane over top of them, and it turned out really nice. Well, over time, since the boards weren't fused together very well, they started to split, and lo and behold, you know all you know all the uh, cracks started to come apart, and now we have this table that has these cracks in it. So we can't use it for a gaming table, essentially is what I'm saying. Um, cards and dice and things like that caught up on cracks on the table itself, and it just doesn't make for a very good experience. So we'll be redoing the tabletop sometime later this summer when it gets nicer outside. And um, I've picked up a few tools and a couple um, extra pieces to, to help fix those issues that we have. Um, the other thing that I would like to do to the table uh, to kind of give it that gaming type of aspect is there's some things that I would like to add to it, like drawers and things like that, hidden compartments into the actual tabletop. So I've got some plans to add those additional features into the table itself. So probably around June or July, we'll be pulling this actual tabletop apart and redoing it from scratch. The legs are fine. They turned out really well. And I'm really pleased with the size. That's the one thing I was worried about was how big is this got to be? And am I you know, taking a shot in the dark about how big I want to make it? And that's the that was the beauty of this whole project is I could make this table any size that I wanted. And while I did measure it out, I still had those kind of gut feeling, oh, is this going to be too big or too small or is it not going to fit the space? But it turned out perfect. The size was fantastic. So we're going to do the exact same size when we redo the tabletop. Um, and um, kind of go from there. So uh, for now, it still works really well as a podcasting table. It still works for uh, any type of videos that we use. So we're going to keep using it in the meantime. It's just the tabletop doesn't make for a very good gaming experience. So we're going to go from there. So anything. So also with the setup, we've got uh, starting on like the podcasting side of things. Uh, we've got two mounts on the side there. They're removable. Um, microphone mounts, uh, which truly they're do-it-yourself uh, mounts for um, a desk lamp from Ikea. Um, so we 
we basically have a desk lamp that you'll, sl you'll slot into there and we've taken the head off the actual lamp and, and we've put on a microphone holder. So we DIY'd the microphone boom arm. So um, that's something again that's gonna change very soon. We'll get some actual microphone arms uh, with cables and things like that that will allow us to you know, fully uh, flush out this podcast table. Um, the nice thing about these actual arms are they removable? And then ones that we will be purchasing also will have that this feature as well, where you can leave them the actual mount and take the arm completely off and store it off site. That way, when we're doing like a you know a, a YouTube video or whatever, we can leave those on there. That's not a problem. But we don't have like the arms kind of overhanging or in the shot or anything like that. We want this crisp, clean shot, so we don't have to worry about that. So looking forward to getting that taken care of. We've got our tripod set up. Uh, that's where the camera sits whenever we shoot video. Um, it's expandable as far as the height. The height is adjustable based on if we're doing a sit-and up or a sit-down uh, video. Um, the way we adjust the legs on the table is I've got little risers that they're like six inches that will put six inches on the actual table itself. So it'll take it from a sit-down table to a standing up. So the tripod moves up and down uh, to kind of accommodate what we're shooting. Uh, we've got a microphone hooked up to a boom arm, hooked up to a tripod. Um, this allows us to get a microphone just off of camera and kind of capture that sweet, crispy audio that I want. Um, and having this boom arm makes it nice because it can rotate to other parts of the actual office. Uh, you need to literally swing the boom arm around and I can capture audio from pretty much any corner of this office. So if I'm shooting on that side, I don't have to worry about, okay, is the microphone going to pick up where I'm at? It, I know it's going to sound, and it works out phenomenal. So that's going to be a, a, a feature that doesn't move or doesn't change anytime soon. Uh, we've got two of these uh, lights. Uh, these are the newer uh, 660 LED light panels. Um, these were an amazing purchase. Uh, we bought them for a wedding that we thought was going to be too dark as far as the reception dancing goes. Um, Turns out they worked really well for that too, but the visibility that they provide for a shooting video for like YouTube and podcasts and things like that and videos like this, having this portability is phenomenal. They're adjustable for both light temperatures, um, so you can get like, the, you know, the cool white or go all the way down to like kind of like a sun orange, uh, daylight orange type of feel with like more tungsten involved and everything in between. You can, you've got dual dials, so you can dial it in exactly how you want it. Um, they have both battery operated and AC power adapters available, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, right now we're currently just using the AC power. The power bricks themselves add a, a little bit better uh, functionality in the form of moving the lights around without, without having to worry about the cables and stuff like that. Uh, fortunately for us, most of our shooting takes place over here. Very rarely will we bring the lights out into other quadrants for shooting. Sometimes we will. Um, the nice thing is I've got them set up to where I can move one of them to kind of give me the light that I'm looking for, the shadows that I'm looking for. So again, great purchase. Really, you know, really excited to bring you guys a review on those. That will be coming out later on in February. But yeah, it's uh, it's working out really good. So yeah, so that's the uh, that's the podcasting side of things. Let's take a look over here. Uh, this is our storage solution right now. Uh, this section is probably the one that's going to get upgraded the most and the soonest. Uh, because there's a lot to do uh, with this corner. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this corner is kind of like the, it's kind of like where everything kind of falls, you know, the, the junk closet, if you will, of the office. So um, this, like I said, this is probably where we're going to see the most uh, changes in the next couple months. Um, Right now, we've got two cabinets here. Uh, the one on the left is got all of our DVDs and Blu-rays in it. So the plan for this left cabinet here is we're going to take out all the Blu-rays and DVDs and we're going to take out the discs and, and put those into uh, kind of like an album type of book. That way it takes up less floor space. Um, it's not as bulky. It doesn't take up a full like corner of the office. Um, so we'll do that. We can move those uh, actual discs out to the living room and then we'll put the actual boxes then we'll put the boxes in the attic and storage because they're not necessary. Um, the case itself is probably going to go away. Uh, we've got I've got my eye on a different cabinet. It's kind of a it's more of a taller one, uh, kind of like what we had before. We had Eli's bookcase out here um, 
a while back. And if you've seen that, that's kind of about the same size as the case that we're looking at. Um, so what we'll do is we'll remove that one and we're gonna bring this new bookcase in. It's a, called uh, Billy from Ikea. Basically it's you know a, a taller bookcase. It's got several shelves inside. It's got two uh, doors that swing open. They have glass panels so you can kind of see in them. Um, the idea behind this uh, cabinet is going to be housing all of our video equipment and photography equipment, lenses, camera bodies, audio equipment, all that good stuff. Um, so that way it's not it's not in our bags on the floor. It's available when we need it. We can see what we have, what we're missing, uh, and it's all kind of nicely displayed in this case. Um, so we're gonna we're looking at getting that upgraded. Now the other the other cabinet here that's a different story. Um, it might get upgraded. It might stay. It just depends. We'll see. Um, we're definitely gonna stick with the same height as far as this cabinet goes. Uh, so basically the purpose for this cabinet is gonna be giving us a clean desk space that we can set our camera bags down and either load or unload things from or to the cabinet next to it. So having this open space where we can lay the you know lay your case down and say, okay, I'm going to shoot a you know a wedding, I need all three lenses, pull the lenses out, put them into the bag, here's camera body, here's batteries, here's microphones, zip it up, good to go. Right? You get all that stuff from one location and you don't have to worry, okay, where's this at? Where's that at? Um, okay, I've got everything packed in this bag, but I'm only going to shoot a vlog. I really don't need everything. Uh, like I said, this cabinet might be going away. We might find something that matches, you know, kind of the decor we're going for. Um, th this thing is about 15 years, about 15 years old at this point. So, you know, the shelves are starting to bow a little bit. The color is not really matching anything. So we're kind of looking to, um, you know, just make an upgrade. So, um, the other thing that I would like to do and kind of customize this uh, this piece is on the inside, give myself about two to three inches and have like a rolling shelf that comes out. Um, and this is where we'll kind of have like a charging station. So like all of our batteries, whether it's camera batteries, whether it's microphone batteries, um, drone batteries, anything, LED light batteries, all that stuff is going to be charged at that location. So again, when you kind of come over and get ready to go take your, you know, get your equipment ready, you'll set your bag down, pull the drawer out. Okay, I need camera batteries and I need LED batteries. So you pull those out, load them up, close the drawer, and then you can start pulling stuff out of the cabinet itself. So again, we're really looking for that multi-purpose type of functionality and having the shelf, having the, the drawer itself, and then also keeping some extra space underneath the drawer for things like camera bags, um, tripods that aren't being used, things like that, that normally sit out in the open that we don't use inside the studio itself can all be tucked away inside there. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to having that upgrade because it's something that I feel um, will help out tremendously because right now, like I said, all of our camera stuff just lives in our bags that sits on the floor. Um, and that's not really where you want your stuff, you know, especially when you put so much money into uh, all this equipment, you want to make sure that you're taking care of that stuff. So, all right, let's go look at our workstation and kind of round out the video from there. Let's take a look, guys. All right, so this is the workstation that we've got set up. Uh, we've got, we run two PCs. Uh, I've got one down here on the floor. This is uh, my older PC uh, that I have started my business on, essentially. Um, this is the one that I've been using for like the past seven years, uh, whether that's to game on, podcast, stream, all that stuff. Recently, I've switched over to my newer PC that was custom built um, just for editing sake. Um, it cuts down on time about by half as far as rendering and editing goes. I can run newer software on it. It's just an all around stronger computer. Uh, we run dual monitors for the top computer, a single monitor for the bottom one. I still use my old PC for things like Photoshop, Illustrator, and things like that. But for the most part, I've switched completely over to my new PC. So we also have our mixer right here. This is what we'll use for like podcasting, things like that. We'll run the uh, XLR audio cables down here and over to the actual podcast table. So then when we're done podcasting, we'll roll those back up and we've got a compartment down here on the other side of the desk uh, to keep those nice and secure and, and out of the way when we're not using them. Um, so as far as the uh, actual setup goes, that's pretty much it. So the desk itself was actually a great find. Uh, one of Amanda's old employers just was giving it away. So we jumped on it immediately. This thing was a pain in the butt to, cl to clear out. We were the only two that we had available to actually move it. 
uh, out of a flight of stairs. We got it up a flight of stairs to the house, down a flight of stairs, and into our office downstairs. If you remember the old office setup, this was down there. Um, and getting it out of there was another chore. Luckily, we had more help uh, the second time we were moving it than the first time. But um, absolutely love this desk. It's solid. Um, it breaks up into two different pieces and when you're moving it and storing it and stuff like that. It's got a drawer compartment over on this side. Um, pass through for cables and things like that over here. Um, and then the other nice thing that it has on the other side of the uh, on the other side of the table, there's actually kind of like an inset where you can put cape, you know, manage cables and things like that so things aren't just hanging on the floor. Um, makes it really nice for keeping everything nice and tidy. Um, it's big enough to where we could actually have like another workstation right here if we absolutely needed to. Again, a lot of room to expand if need be, um, but this is just nice to have this open space. We usually have um, a shot for like uh, vlogs and stuff like that coming this way over the couch. Um, so again, works out really nice. Um, so this quadrant is actually going to see an upgrade as well. It's a, probably the most significant upgrade. Um, one of the things that we quickly realized when I started moving into this uh, space was there isn't a lot of wall space to hang stuff and to put shelves and things like that. You really have these two brick walls and that's it. Everything else has a window on it and there's about six to seven inches in between each window so not enough to put any type of shelving or anything like that. Um, nevertheless, we're gonna build a wall and we're gonna put it right here over top of this window. Um, and people might be saying, well, why are you going to cover up a window? Isn't like, that's just a terrible idea. And hear me out on this. Yes, it could be seen as a terrible idea. And that's why we're not going to make it permanent. It's going to be a wall that can be removed if need be when, if we go to resell the house, um, having all these windows is great for, you know, certain aspects or certain lifestyles and things like that. But really this window never gets opened because of all the electronics that are behind it. And underneath it the shades never get open so it might as well just be a wall um, so putting that wall up will give us some uh, ability to put on shelves and things like that which I'm kind of needing um, to put kind of some memorabilia and things like that um, I've got some kind of uh, I've got some um, some desk trinkets and things like that that I want to break out of storage and kind of put up there um, some puzzles and things like that I really want to display some of them. Some of them are really nice and they, you know, they're well crafted and I want to be able to have a nice place to put them on my shelf. Um, right now I don't have that. Uh, you'll kind of, you kind of see in the podcast background where there's a lot of stuff on top of that shelf. Um, I really don't like that look. Um, that's kind of, it seems kind of trashy. It seems like it's over pie. It's, you know, it's overwhelming. So that a lot of, the, a lot of that stuff is going to come down and kind of go onto some of these shelves and kind of disperse that mess that's on top of that uh, that cube shelf in the background there. The other thing that you're going to see change in this uh, quadrant is we're going to put some artwork on the walls, but we're not going to drill into the brick because I'm not really big on permanent change like that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to screw hooks into the ceiling and bring cables down and kind of hang them uh, from these from like two cables or whatever. So it'll look really cool. I'm really excited to kind of get that going. Um, they'll be up off the wall just a little bit, so there'll be a little bit of gap there, um, just to kind of give it a little bit of depth. Um, as far as artwork goes, I don't really know what I plan on putting up there, uh, if I'm going to be changing it out every season for like the vlog and all that stuff. Um, but leave in the comments below like what you think, uh, what kind of artwork we should put up there. We'll probably have space for like two uh, vertical images. Um, so we'll kind of leave it at that. I'm really excited. There's some really cool things that are going to happen in this side of the office and it just, it'll make it feel a little bit more personalized. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get over to the last section of the, uh, actual office and, uh, close out this video. All right, guys. So this is kind of like the lounge type of area. Um, this is like all of our old furniture that we didn't have space for in the house that we kind of wanted to not get rid of, but we still want to have um, some use out of. I also wanted a space out here where I could play, you know, set up retro video games and things like that. So we've got kind of our old LCD screen, um, which, <laughs> which now that I think about it was purchased when, when Halo 2 came out. So it's about, what is that, about 15, about probably not, yeah, probably about 15 years ago. Um, so it's about 15 years old. Uh, we've got, you know, a nice 
um, entertainment stand that's low profile uh, that houses kind of like our Super Nintendo and like Genesis and all the old systems and stuff like that um, kind of sits in there. Um, and I just wanted a space where I can just relax, you know, sit down, and relax. There isn't enough room for like a coffee table or anything like that. But it's a nice space where you can kind of sit down, you know, break out a, you know, break out a, a retro game or whatever, take a break from editing or shooting or whatever, and just kind of sit down and relax. Um, you know, we've got a decent internet connection out here, so we could run Netflix and stuff like that to the Xbox 360 and all that good stuff. So again, this is kind of a space that isn't really. I mean, we use it a little bit for like the vlog and stuff like that, so you've probably seen like this shot before. Uh, but for the most part, this is really kind of just a, hey, let's break away and kick our feet up for a couple of minutes. So, um, so yeah, so that's the office. Um, um, you know, like I said, I'm really excited with how it's turning out. Uh, we've kind of got everything set up the way we want it. Now it's just about making those small incremental upgrades and, you know, kind of fine tuning everything to meet what we're looking for, whether it's, you know, the hanging of the art or getting our camera bag emptied and put into a decent looking shelf and kind of displaying what we have, you know, and also making it easier to, you know, to grab, you know, making it easier to you know, build our kit out when we're going on to a specific job. So we're not taking everything, lightening our, you know, our backpacks when we're, you know, just going out for the day or whatever, where we don't have to take everything. So I'm excited about it. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the office and the upgrades and things like that. What would you do a little bit different and um, kind of leave them in the comments below. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. Really do appreciate it. And if you're feeling extra gung-ho about it, share uh, this video out on your favorite uh, social media website. I really do appreciate it. Um, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.